At the Pina Bausch archives, our subject is the body of work of one single artist, the choreographer Pina Bausch. Her work is expressed in mostly in live theatrical performances in many places of the world, many of the leading uh, stages of the world, like Opera of Paris, the Brooklyn Academy of Music in New York, um, Sadler's Wells in London, Tokyo, Budapest, and so on. Our subject is in essence immaterial, the dance. We archive, we archive material traces in a virtual space and one of our missions is to facilitate a renewed expression of this work, a performance. The material expressions of uh, the performance happens at a given time in front of an audience and creates, uh, it's performative in the sense that it creates an ephemeral uh, relationship between the dancers. Um, the audience and the whole of the theatrical experience, uh, music, stage sets, the room, geographical places, where, and not at least the background, the phenomenon of, of the black background. That means at that moment, temporalities, uh, the theater room, the geographical space, uh, weather, political moments, we're talking about decades of work happening and always repeating itself. The material objects can be archived and also multiple. Every object remembers some aspects of the event, programs, videos, press, photos, personal notes, work documents, and so on. Every ob object documents a facet. It remembers some aspect but forgets another one. We'll talk about forgetting and remembering later in our talk. Um, the sum of these objects creates a bigger picture. The archival gain extended value when connected and text, uh, contextualized by the agents, the people who were involved in, either in the inception or then the reception of the work. Oral history is a methodology that can be used to bind these archival materials. they make this implicit connection explicit and valuated. Later, I will explore more. I talk about more about oral history. Um, my name is Ricardo Viviani, and I'm responsible for the oral history, for creating oral histories for our archive. Our panel will be consist of three parts, a live rehearsal, a talk, then we're gonna have a showing of a video related to the rehearsal, and hopefully we'll have some time to open for uh, Q&A, questions and answers. Now, for now, we'll, we're gonna experience a very short rehearsal situation. Barbara Kaufman will be working with Azusa Sayama in a solo from a dance work entitled Wiesenland, a piece by Pina Bausch. The piece had its world premiere in Wuppertal on the 5th of May of the year 2000. It was the 10th co-production of the Tanzata Wuppertal, this time in Budapest. I'll talk about later about what the co-production in our uh, environment means. Uh, the solo was created by Pina Bausch with and for Barbara Kaufman. It comes about uh, 20 minutes after the intermission. For now, let's just be uh, witnesses to this process that usually happens behind closed doors in a studio situation, away from public. I thank both dancers for the generosity of allowing us to, to see that. Thank you. Yeah, hello, good morning. My name is Barbara Kaufman. And Asusa Sayama. Yes, and we are going to do something now which is our everyday work in a studio. It's a, one of the small parts to contribute to the bigger piece and to the bigger context of everything. Uh, there is a lot. I'm going to rehearse with uh, Asusa a little part of my solo, which I do with my dance, which I do in, uh, in Wiesenland. 
and it's like in this moment from our body archives. So from my body memory, because I also have to work on to memorize well what comes out of my body, and I also use, again, material uh, also from, from the archive, which is video, which is some little notes. I also went back in Wuppertal now to the archives to find some little notes from Pina Bausch again. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna move a little bit and you, you are here and can see what you can see and we just <laughs> go to our work. So we start yes. uh, with the first movement mm -hmm. of it. And um, yeah, we had been doing the rolling in and yeah. the, this partner movement. Yes. You have been, you're gonna leave him and mm -hmm. you run over and this running over to your start of the dance is something where you just run and stop a little bit and it's like a thought. Hmm. It's just like a thought. And then you go on and you push off and you step, turn, let your hands yeah. meet, caress along your legs. And this is like a th sigh. So actually it's, it's a bit like telling a story, which is my story, yes. and you find your own story in okay. it. It's just, okay. just like little hints to mm. give you because this, these, the movements that are, the, the movements that came up are just movements from particular questions from Pina, like okay. you know, yeah, she's yes. asking us questions and we find some movements and then we the answers, yeah. compose mm -hmm. something mm -hmm. out of it. So, mm -hmm. so the first movement is just, you just go, so you really, you can really put your weight on the knee uh -huh. and this is like you're reaching to the space somewhere back. And then you allow just to push off your weight. And as you fall, the arm comes across and makes you step. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. There. Push. And then you step and turn around. On the, actually, you, you have to turn on your right foot and bring your feet very close together. Okay. Your arm is making, yes. What you want. Yeah. What you want is like your loose wrist. Okay, so. So it's a long arm with a loose wrist. Uh -huh. okay. As you do, excuse me, from here, yeah. here, here. As you do the movement, you go along long. with the wrist. And then you close your feet and then you have to keep <laughs> one line from here to uh -huh. the other wrist. Here, and this is very low to the floor. Okay. And this wrist meets the other. Need to. Shall we try again? <laughs> yes. You do this. Yeah. You push, cross, step, turn, and together. Mm -hmm. And once you're down here, your right hand starts, your left hand follows. Up to your, up to your stomach here. Here. It's like this part. Ah, okay. This, it's not the stomach. It's mm. this part. Ah, it's a different yeah. feeling. Also, it's a different. It? Yeah. Mm. Right. Stomach is something else. <laughs> yeah, right. So you're here, yeah. and then it's like as if you would. Mm. There was a little question which was only called, ach, ach, ach. Okay. And this, this, <laughs> this happened. Yes. Ach. Just this little movement. Okay. Ah. And from here you step a little bit diagonal mm -hmm. and you bring your left leg to a passe with your body around. So from here it's it's another it's another thought for me. Mm -hmm. It's like hmm. But you push Yes, and you, you push right, you, it's as if you would push your hip around. Yeah. So it's not about the leg, it's uh -huh. more about this gesture. It's a gesture of pushing, which tells something. Yes. So after you've done the turn, yeah. coming together. Yeah. Push. Push. Okay. 
Yeah, we always have to move a little bit, so it's not <laughs> much space, so we're going to fall off. Yeah. Um, this movement. And then you have a gesture of around, around, in. Uh, again, please. Okay. <laughs> so your arm is going here. 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 Mm -hmm. So you have done this. Uh -huh. Your leg goes to one side, but it's very, it's very loose. It's your legs only go sort of like. Ah, okay. It, it's a, it's a loose mm -hmm. move. Mm -hmm. Here, and then you, s it's like going into it. Yes. Yeah. Let me see. Well, sometimes it's difficult to take it apart because it has a flow. Of course. So where is it? It's like a whole sentence. Of Let's see. There. Mm -hmm. There, 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 there. No, I'm all bitter. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> so you've done the push. Yes. One, One two, two, three. three. And from, he from here, you bring the leg two. in and you go parallel. Ah. And what you want is like, yeah, this is low mm -hmm. and this is Round. There is a space here. Yes, 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 yes. You see, it does something different in your body. Mm -hmm. If you really give this room yeah. here, and from here, you push up your left hand and your yeah. right hand. Mm -hmm. From here, it's like flip, yeah. flip, flip, and then they make a line. Yeah. And you follow through the space. Sorry, from here. And you will turn on the left leg and keep this, make, make sort of a shape around with this. Mm -hmm. So from here, tick, 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 turn around, till you come down. Mm -hmm. So this idea is uh, something, something quite shaped not going somewhere, it's yeah. going around a space. Okay. From the beginning? Mm -hmm. So we have the yeah. giving the weight, the yeah. thought, push off, give weight, cross, wrist, down, mm -hmm. along the body, up, step, push. push. And now it gets very narrow. <laughs> yes. What? Wah. 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 It's sort of floating into each other, even, yeah. though, even though we don't want to make shortcuts. So you want to go through every movement. Mm. And if you re it's like drawing into the space. And if you really draw, your body will do the, the will rest. Be, the, will do the rest, right? Yeah. yeah. And tell you also. <laughs> yes. Where are we at? Uh, uh, da, 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 da. Da. Here? Yeah. Push. push, push. Oh, excuse me. Push. Push, push. And from here you turn on your left. Sorry, I'm falling. I'm falling. On the left. And then feet together again. Okay. Here. Push. Around. You bring your left elbow in. Yeah. So I bring your left elbow in. Mm -hmm. Yes, and this is like a caress. A caress around your head. Yes. And you yeah, and there, there you wanna also bring the elbow here. And you're here. Mm -hmm. And the moment you reach this yeah. point. This arm goes up, and then it hits down. <laughs> uh, um, here. Uh, yes, you, you've come here. Yep. It's a long. Here. Here. Lift. So yeah, with the wrist, and hit. Over. Okay, so we go hit. Yes. 
So this is the initiation of the movement. Mm -hmm. Because there was also, for example, the a movement about uh, Kraftvoll. Okay. So it's so an energische, it's a really a, a movement with an energy. Mm. And there mm. was also like drops. Drops. But mm, I'm, uh, this is the interesting because you can understand drop, like a physical drop. Drop. You can also understand or think of raindrops. Yes. What, for me, it was more thinking of the liquid drops so mm. it's not it's not only it's not only a hit yeah but, but it's also something something like a big drop mm. ah. which I catch again here mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. so this was um, wait, wait can we start from from here yeah yeah da, da. come up oh I'm sorry high up Come to your right, right side. side. Always, 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 always feet together. Yes. <laughs> you know that one? Yes. <laughs> Here. Caress. Oh, ex excuse me. Lift. Hit, hit. And now you come back with your right arm. Here. And look out. So from, from, uh, from here, yeah. from, from it's not dropped, but yeah. it's a little lower, and then you, it's like an attention. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. So um, you look, you look down. Yes. Yes. So there you look up. Okay. Yes. Down. Right. Down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where are we at? Let it come. And now it's you repeat a step from the beginning. This arm is just naturally going down. This uh -huh. arm is not doing much, but this one is starting again. For this one. Yeah. Here. Uh -huh. Coming up again. And, and this, I never thought really what my feet would do. I just, just I just had this gesture and they, they just and moved they along with me so they can ah, go okay. here. Yeah. So because it's not, or step, step. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm? yeah. Here and once more, you have again this one turning. Yeah. One more of these, and then drop again. And then comes the next sequence. Okay. So this is the beginning sequence. Okay. Um, shall we go through it once and then? We have, I have a little look or something. <laughs> <Are we> okay. <laughs> yes, yes. Let's see. Yeah, okay. So, we've been running and we stand this way and give your weight a off bell. Go through. Turn. Come in. Come up. Change. Step. Push through. Yes. And here I really try to be like flat. <laughs> flat. And also like this way. Yeah, not here, but okay. yeah. And from there we go. Tick. Tick. Tick tick. Turn. Come to your right side. Caress around the face, lift and drop. Hit. And from here again. From here again. Start. Turn. Here. Here. Again. Uh, so again, here, again, and this is a higher. The other ones are low, okay. as low as you can. Mm -hmm. I was once upon a time lower. <laughs> so you try really to get low, low. But this last one, this last one is like stopping oh. up here. 
So it's like it's like you can you you start this ah, and you yes kind of yes it's like mm. ah. <laughs> Can, yeah, yeah, and you always make just a move back when you reach that. So okay. You see. So and I run. Yeah. Da. 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 Deep, 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 deeper. Yes. Uh huh. And tick, then, and then tick, tick and left. Then, oh yeah. And then, oh yeah. Then with the left, right, uh, with the, with with the, with your weight. Yeah, you're here, and then you put your weight on the left and turn. Okay. I think I need to practice a bit more. <laughs> so I know. Me too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think what helps here is yeah. when you, when you're here, oh, yeah, when you're here, yeah. my body memory tells me now just uh, that it's not like staying on the spot, but it's like reaching, reaching into the space, oh. which helps for the turn. Oh. So I'm not thinking about being here and turning, I'm thinking about yeah. reaching into the space. Yes, that's a different thing. When you try to try to do it. Okay. It's like a little space you go up there from from here. Yeah. Oops. So it's it's a dip it would be a difference to do like this mm -hmm. rather than to go. I really see that you draw the from the yes, sky. Yes, right. Yeah. Um, so if I yeah. do, if I did wonderful, y yes, if you do <laughs> wonderful, <laughs> this, yes, then you come, you end up on your on your right side, yeah. and then okay. you bring yeah. in, you mm. bring in. Right. It's sort of along this arm, ah. along this arm. Oh, yeah. And this one just stays here. Yeah. I don't do a, do a special thing here. It's just like a, it ah. just stays. Because I'm, I'm with this gesture. And yeah. then again, through the space, through the space. <laughs> Caress, reach, and shop up. Yeah, because this this momentum is the turn, yeah. Right. This momentum gives you the next turn. Right. And what helps is to make up your mind on which foot, which I always had a difficulty yeah. with. Like because from here, for example, I'm turning on my left. On the left. Yes. Okay. And uh, then da -da -da. Uh. And then it's like a new start again with this. Here. So you just step. And this one actually, it's like with looking higher up. Ah, okay. So it's not looking. This one is looking out. Yeah. I mean, not looking, looking out, but actually the whole atmosphere, mm. it's something very fragile. I mean, you have this almost nothing. Costume. Yes. It gives a certain feeling also, mm, and it's something true. very, yeah, like very fragile also. So there's never something you look out there, but mm. it's a, it's a, there's always something like a longing in it. I liked a lot. Um, there was once one word also, one question which was called unterschwellig. Okay. which I cannot really translate, subliminal, I looked it up, but it's something, there's always something underneath, like an, a need or something, and there's some, you, are, you are busy with, mm. so it's not completely focusing outside. Outside that. It's, it's 
it's uh, also inside. Mm. But this one, this one actually look up. <gasps> Should look up. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's that's difficult. <gasps> and yeah, and then what what saves you then is this the legs together. Yeah, okay. This saves you. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, once more, just just like try to flow through and then. Maybe we, we're done. Maybe together, you think together? you can? <laughs> just to okay. go through because yes, I okay. want yeah. also I want to feel how All I right. want to feel your energy to try to okay, cool. yeah. transmit mm -hmm. to. Good. Okay. So I, I hope easy. not to hit you. So no, let's you see. And, and not fast because then then with the music it's another. The music yeah. gives you another drive in it. Yeah, but for course. now we're just hmm. dealing with our own timing here. Just okay. Give it Push. Sorry. <laughs> of the art. We hit the art. Again, okay. again. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right. Over here. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Da, da. And push. Through. Through. Up. Down. Down. Along. Ah. And step push. I'm sorry, Press. this is too close to here. Yeah. Push. Wa, 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 down, tuck, tuck, reach, 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 and turn nicely. <laughs> Here. Uh, yeah, yeah. Huh? I'm afraid to fall <laughs> off. Mm -hmm. And again. In, up, ah. Uh. Again, ah, uh, drop. And then later on we have the nice water thing. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but that's done. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So while they take a little breath of, uh, and a little sip of water, maybe I'll just, uh, I mean, there's so many layers of, of discourse and body there. You can see the, uh, a phenomenological a layer of, of, uh, of f physical descriptions. You have the factual, the feelings, you feel like this and that. And you see, you have images, a metaphorical uh, image. And, uh, and I'm sorry that to keep that short, it feels um, unusual dance company work day is of, it's eight hours of work. Eight hours, yes. Eight hours <laughs> of dancing. In the German theater system, uh, the day usually starts at 10, they, take, they do a warm up, rehearse until two, have a big break and for two, four hours. At six in the evening, they come back and rehearse until the 10 in the evening, so this must be feel really inadequate. <laughs> um, it's, a, it's a great pleasure to, for me to introduce uh, Dr. Mark Wagenbach to our panel. Mark was an assistant to Pina Bausch from 2007 on, and together with Salomon Bausch, they laid intellectual framework of the archives starting from, Pina Bausch, from the Pina Bausch collections. Uh, he also started creating oral histories with Pina Bausch herself and other members of the company. Uh, I'd like to locate our first questions in the year 2000 when all of this was created, uh, the inception of this solo. Uh, and concentrate and give a couple of concepts. We have a, a certain uh, terminology that we use, and that uh, I just like to frame those. Um, one is co-production. Co-production was um, a production inspired in a world city. First, there was a, a period um, of research where 
the dancers and some of the creative team went to a certain place, experienced the place, observed, and also in the studio, they were exploring uh, approaches of uh, uh, observation and themes. Uh, this studio work was called, and I, I'm going to use the uh, German word just to make it a, a, a termos technicus, uh, Pinas Fragen, the questions. They were not just questions, they were more like impulses. Later you can correct me if I'm not very specific about this. Um, these impulses were later presented by the dancers as movements or actions or verbal materials. These materials were rough elements for the composition of the piece. Then back in Wuppertal, the piece was composed, premiered in, uh, in Wuppertal, and premiered back in the city that was um, uh, the partner. I just wanted to, to sketch out uh, very briefly this one concept. Now, I want to talk about uh, Barbara at that time uh, the year 2000, when they, they created this. She, Barbara uh, joined the company in 1987 from a background that included also work with the Volkwang um, Tanz Studio in Essen Verden, which is a, a place that's very related to the work, to the artistic work of, of Pina Bausch. By the year of 2000, Barbara had already been working directly with Pina Bausch for 13 years being part of creation of five of those co-productions, Partner City Palermo, Madrid, Vienna, the American West, and Budapest. Um, she also learned and performed the extensive repertory the, of, of the company. Um, in the past 32 years, working for the company, she has performed this extensive repertory all over the world. Uh, but also in this role of rehearsal director, transmitting, and uh, we'll talk about that later as well. And in the foundation, she continued her work. There was a task given by, to her by Pina Bausch of looking at the archival material from the viewpoint of the practice of dance. Azusa, in the year 2000, had also an international career but had just joined the company at that time, year 2000. She had a short study period uh, at the Volkwagen uh, Hochschule as well. And up to year 2009, she participated of the creation, the original cast and many other pieces. So what we see here is a, a dancer in the social context, in the social uh, body context of this, this um, company learning this part. It would be something else with some of the new members of the company. So, um, Azusa. <laughs> in, uh, no, I have to stay oh, close to the I microphone. I think we have to come closer here. In the, in the year 2000, you were just uh, studying already did you see the, the premiere of uh, Yes, I, I, when I entered the company, they were just creating the Wiesemann, actually. Was that your first piece? Well, when you no. got to, 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 to Germany or before you came to Germany, did you see the company? Uh, when, I was in, when I was studying Folkwang in uh, Folkwang uh, Dance uh, University, I, of course, came just to see uh, their pieces in the Wuppertal, yes. Okay. Yes. Um, I try to keep everything short so we get a, a <laughs> sense of what, uh, what kind of uh, uh, information we, we can construct out that. Barbara, I mean, we already saw the, my next question, which is the time in Budapest and, uh, and all of the questions, Pinas Fragen. So it's, it's very, um, one feels very compelled to say, oh, this, this question was about this, and uh, so this movement must mean this or not. So uh, that's misleading, and that's why what we saw here now, it's, it's not for the public. It's really for the dancers. The, the dance happens on stage, and the impression that it makes on the, uh, that relationship that happens at the, that time uh, is what's important. 
uh, it would be a mistake to reduce it down to a, to a vocabulary in this sense. Um, anything <laughs> to? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I, w I would like to, to, to mention that uh, for me, actually, to, to speak about solo is for me a little bit misleading because I like to speak about it's our dances, which are embedded in the piece and they also live, they are nourished through the piece and through the whole context, what's, what's uh, given, and the, also like the underlining, uh, the underlining information. So it's not just about making a solo or something, and especially, for example, this dance is really embedded also musically and choreographically, how, how Pina composed it, uh, with other dancers together. And I think that is, for me, uh, very important to understand because like solo is a little bit misleading about mm. like showing single, single people or something. Um, First of all, I was not in Budapest, okay. present for some, there was a... Now it's oral history, <laughs> starting again. Yes. <laughs> I was not present there, but I was very connected, getting always all the questions that happened there, and then of course the process continued in Wuppertal, so I was not disconnected, but I was actually not in, the, in, the, in that research situation. And uh, yeah, anyway, like you said, we get the, we get the what we call Pinas Fragen. And they're very, very different. They're answered for ev from every one of us at a different moment, in a different situation we are in, and with a different, um, let's say, association we have about it. Like I said about drops, you can think a lot about drops mm -hmm. or, or so, mm -hmm. or about, I mean, I have, I have some questions here, but um, you So this dance, is, it, you don't do it from A to Z. It's like coming, coming together from different parts that you invented. And then with Pina together, you look at these movement inventions and, try and you start to combine them and create something out of them. Yeah. So it's a whole long process how a dance comes about. And also something else I would like to mention is that there was not the music. We do this, we, we work on, on our movement and on our compositions and then with the eye of Pina and with the hints and with her shapings and her composition. Um, first without music and then some musics are tried out. And especially my experience with this, with this dance was really amazing because uh, we tried many kinds of musics and it was like, yeah, nice, Ni like, yeah. Yeah, and then this music came up, and for me, I would say then it was born, because it was really an encounter of, of a dance, or other dances also from other colleagues fitting, go, going along in this music. Uh, yeah, and somehow, ev and it was, we could feel it in the room, everybody was like, now, that's it, now it's, yeah. it's, it happened. So well, it's, a, it's a whole complex experience rather than just trying to figure out. We anything. haven't heard the music yet, yeah. <laughs> but I'll keep the su suspense because later we're going to see after we, we go through some more points. Uh, Mark? Yeah, thank you for the introduction and everything what you said. Now I have to go in the middle. They thought I have to go to the middle. So Barbara, <laughs> thank you, and uh, Susan and Ricardo very much. Um, what you did and also the rehearsal. What I found interesting, before I will ask you three questions, what I found very interesting is what you just said, how you rehearse or what the understanding was and what the understanding is of a dance. So I think that's very interesting um, when we talk about uh, practices of transmitting, to think about um, that and especially to think about what could be, because I know the archive theme is today the, the point of departure, so which kind of uh, materialities do we find to this? Which kind of materialities do we create for a self-understanding, for an um, for understanding of a process, for a working routine, which is part of your daily routine? So what is the materiality of routines, of um, practices? So this may be something we can um, then reflect a bit mm -hmm. later on. Mm -hmm. So, but I don't let you go before I maybe get, hopefully, three statements. I was wondering, 
because you know us now a bit, but we don't know you. So um, maybe there is an um, understanding of, or maybe you have three comments, or maybe there are three comments what you just saw. in the rehearsal? Or is there an observation? Or um, Just be brave. <laughs> Thank you. First of all, it was very beautiful. <laughs> and um, being a dancer myself, I would say that it's the power of dance that you, I would say you cannot put, in, you cannot put it into an archive. Because it's the it's the art form of um, it's you know it's just there in time and space and then it's gone. And my question would also be: Do, do we want to keep it in some fixed form? I think we can't, and to some extent. And maybe that's what we should keep, like the magic of this um, moment, it, which will never come back. Like we cannot copy it, we cannot reproduce it with everybody. It would look different. So it's like there's a bit of contradiction for me because uh, it could be a, seen as a disadvantage, but maybe it's the, the most special thing about this art form. Do you want to comment on that? Because I, I think I, it's interesting also to start a bit of dialogue. Yeah, it's, I, I think it's important, yeah, but something important you said about it's, it's happening in the moment and it's very hard to grasp it. And well, I, I, the, in my experience, I think it's very important. We, we are not trying to copy each other, yeah. and I'm not trying to tell Asusa, for example, like, you have to do exactly like me. I'm trying to give her important information to, so she can find her own way into it with her own language. And as you see, I, I think already in the rehearsal, you see how different we are. Yeah, I mean, and, and this, is some, this is a value. This is a, it's, it's precious. And uh, so, we can go, for example, about these informations being very subjective and speak about what we feel or what our body memory is. We can also use our technique because we know we need to go deep for a plie and we, know, we, know, we have also uh, in common like the, the body language, what, what we know from the Volkmann School, so how to use your body, how to use your arms. And many things of that we can communicate in that way, for example, which is for me, also then part of an archive. An archive is just giving, is giving um, well, I had, this, I, I had this thought, you know, these exoskelets that help you have, move something very heavy. It's something like that somehow, that you, uh, it cannot be a substitution for, the, for the, a dance being alive, movement being alive and just living in the moment. Nothing can substitute that, but it can support it and make and give us more consciousness about things. Because I, my experience also is from being uh, as a dancer, many things I just did yeah. almost unconsciously. I, I moved, yeah. and and then you, when you have to teach it, you get more, yeah, you get more conscious about something, and you have to find a language one way or the other. So maybe as a kind of reservoir which you recruit or where you go yeah. to and as a kind of yeah. reservoir of yeah. knowledge or information. I also would like to comment just to open up the perspective. I don't know if it's, um, if dance is just the ephemeral art and we don't have anything and it's, um, you know, it's nothing left. I mean, this is also, to put it maybe in a very sharp way, I could also interpret it as a kind of also ideology, you know, or, very, <laughs> or not ideology, yeah. or very strong framework of the ephemeral and everything goes away and we enjoy just the moment because I think and because we have this materialities like we have the video we have this here we have um, we have the documentation we have the manuscripts we have photos so they are just as an um, just as kind of uh, to bring it up in yeah. other perspective mm -hmm. maybe one more question if it's uh, to um, yeah yeah so I think uh, then the other yeah maybe yeah Thanks a lot for, for this. For me, I was stricken how there is a lot of parallels with the archive as such, because every movement leads to another movement, and then this kind of how, the, how there is no independence of segments. And 
and, and you said that, and, and one, uh, I think, Barbara, you said at some point it's really difficult to chop it off because one movement leads to another. Mm -hmm. And, and how, how actually this would, this is an incredible way to look at the archive as physical material, which is so easy to see as compartment, compartmentalized. Mm -hmm. But then this, and also the, this making, making it your own through your language, but still having the structure that is, that, that is the same. And, and so I was, I kept thinking, how is it, how do you, how do you keep record then of like, is there like of sedimentation of the archive, how things kind of, how every transmission of knowledge is also adding to the archive itself? So that it also in time, it moves from being a Pina Bausch archive into being archive made by reading of the Pina Bausch archive and using it as a repository of knowledge. Mm -hmm. I think maybe to just add, maybe you can add it because you also have experience with working other companies and transmitting choreographies to other companies where suddenly you, you also have a different kind of archive situation or you create also new archive. I mean, I think what's theoretically maybe a bit underlining is like the, the notion of translation. So you, you translate or you transfer or transmit one, you know, knowledge or it's to, or you to A to A, A. Mm -hmm. or A to B, mm -hmm. so there is a notion of translation, maybe as an idea beneath it, but now, um, do you think, just to, just to reframe, hopefully I do it well, um, to reframe your question in the sense of, do, um, do you think it's, um, you're constantly also creating new archives, is it a bit what you also meant, yeah? Or how is your, actual, or how is your, how is your, Memory is it also? I mean, it's it's. Um, does it change, or how or how is your relation to the remembrance of of a dance which you learned before? Or mm -hmm. shall I start? Yes, start. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> it's so complex. Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, well, it's many things at the same time. You're going to say either or. So of course, they're like you say. Yes, they are. We have facts. We have. Uh, all kinds of information and they are there and we can, I mean, there are also reconstruction works of whatever Mary Wigman, for example, we don't have her and we don't have people, almost not, I guess, very, very few who could transmit physically uh, and you can still do something with it. So it's, it's uh, I think it's a very, very dynamic and very much in motion. We cannot nail things we cannot put it into a, into a cage and say, or into a box and say, now, okay, this is what it is. It's always just, and what is that Ausgangspunkt? A point of departure. A point of departure and points of references, mm. which we have to fill with a life which is actually happening in that moment. Because, for example, when we do performances and we know we do the same dance or we do the same performance eight times in a row, every time it was different. Yes. So you, it's you a, reproduce it's a, it's a and you cannot reproduce yeah. at the same time. Yeah. It is a, it's a, it's a fact. Mm. Oh? Yeah, it's, it's really like what Barbara said, it's really living, uh, we are really living in, in, into it. So these eight performances and when I have to, when I, if I have to um, teach my dance to uh, the, the young generation is also, a, have also, a, I will go really deep into it somehow that if, how can I transmit to this person because this person is not me or I have to also go back to when, when I created also, not mm -hmm. like how I feel it now, but when I created, it was like 20 years ago, you know, when I'm, when I'm 20. So I have to really go back there to transmit, not I am now to transmit. So yeah, it's also it's whole reflective, world. Yeah. <laughs> yes. But maybe yeah. to come back a bit to the materiality. Yes. Um, so to, to just um, think about it when we, um, when you, you were saying it a bit before you mm. came here, you also went to the archive. So which kind of objects or which kind of materialities do you recruit or um, reference to? So is it a manuscript or um, just to get an idea of the collection mm. of things? Okay, the, f the first thing I did is I went into my own archive. Like okay. <laughs> another archive? I mean, no. my own pile, pile of 
papers and little okay. books with notes. Actually, you brought one. Come on, we show it. Well, but this is oh, not is it original. Not yeah, it's, it's, but this, uh, but one? this is not original. This is what no, I wrote No, it's not down. original. No, 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 it's not original. I'm just anyway. referring to the notions, right? It's original? not original. But it's an it's archive. It's not my notes it's from 20, 25 years and ago. And this one. It's, it's and what's uh, that? And this is also just notes I made in the... <laughs> you are curious. I'm very curious. <laughs> Some notes I made because I couldn't find it then in mine. I must say, I was, I was expecting to find something which I couldn't find again. It must be somewhere. So I didn't check my archive really up to now. Uh, but then I went, uh, and I was very lucky uh, to be able to go really to a physical material, which is also something um, touching, to go what Pina wrote down, the, her phrases, and I could could have a look at them, and I picked out some of them, um, which for me in that moment were are very relevant to this dance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so and which I connect in the dance, which I never discussed with her or with anybody else. It's just inside me, but this is the connection. So I wrote down a couple of words, which uh, mm -hmm. which I connected. So in that way, I used literally the archive in Wuppertal, physically. But also what I wanted to point out, your relation, your practice of seeing or, or, or um, thinking about the notion of transmission or rehear of thinking of practices of um, rehearsing, um, you said it's something from Pina which is very precious to me. So this is already also, also interesting what the relation is between um, me as a user or me and this object. Yeah, so, yeah, uh, and uh, just to see the complexity of it. Because for, I, I can only say, I mean, this is just uh, some, something I've written on a paper, which is not talking to me like when I see the original paper. It's talking mm. differently to me because probably of my relationship and experience to the work. But I can say it's, it's something special. And then when you, for example, I know that in the... Uh, in, 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 in your rehearsal practice, there is also kind of hierarchy in using particular materialities. So, um, like, like the video is very strong. So you have the, the, the corporal archive. Let's put it like my, like this, and then you have a kind of um, a particular video material. Video, um, you you have a look at videos, mm -hmm. and how is the selection then made, for example? Or how maybe mm -hmm. how can you describe a bit the practices of looking? <laughs> Yes, um, of course. Uh, if we if we have uh, like four shows in the room, no? so each each show is different, yeah. and of course there are some shows that I feel like oh maybe this is a good show. So there I I, I remember the date, mm -hmm. and then uh, I I ask for the video to do the to do the rehearsals. But sometimes this is what I feel, mm -hmm. but it's not. All the, all, the, all the other other dancers will maybe say, no, this day was not good. Exactly, that's <laughs> yeah, the, so, the good yeah. discussion. So, yeah, so good. We, we have to really um, talk together and say, what well, was the good one? I, I won't I won't dare to, to decide by myself to say this was the good show or this we keep it. So what I want to say or what I, what I want to emphasize mm. in this discussion is maybe also a bit that remembering is a collective process. Exactly. And it's a like kind of um, that different kind of material. It's actually a process itself, mm. a process of creation. Yes. With definitely. this kind of different ways and a, a reference to the process of creation. So going on. Mm. So and using uh, using the material maybe. Um, Barbara, because um, you mentioned it, um, Ricardo, um, Barbara, you also have been involved, or Pina asked you to look at videos. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can um, say what she said, what was the paradigm of um, qualification, or what's, what's, which videos should be kept. What did she say, she said? Sometimes she said, yeah. <laughs> she, where she said, guckt mal was schön ist, but that does so not have a mean, uh, that's not a superficial um, thing to say. It is. Of course, when we started to what's look, beautiful. what's beautiful, yeah. and when, when we uh, started to look, we find out very clearly, of course, which was already clear before, but it was much more conscious then, what do you need for work, what you need for reconstruction, what do you need to see to get an idea, a sensation of a piece, mm. what do you, what might be interesting, like, let's say, in, in, in 100 years to see, 
or in, for example to work and for, we for example we have uh, recordings from Teatro de la Ville they are far away and they are from the top and it's nothing really interesting to see but for the work and the reconstruction it's enormously interesting and important because you see certain let's say architectures of or in the room uh, placements uh, entrances exits things like mm. that Dif uh, different information that is really very important to have and then you also of course have the what we call the regie bücher the um, show bibles yeah, which are written ever since <laughs> ever since and are rewritten and written so they're also in motion and uh, they don't have the Sisters, they are not complete, but they have a lot of information, and it's, it's very interesting. Sometimes you look at a video and you ask a question, you turn around, you look into the show Bible, you find the answer to the question. Maybe you don't find the answer there, but somebody remembers. Yeah, so, so there's a, it's, a col it's, it's really yeah. what you say it's, it's a, it's a um, collection of information, and then finding out what is really adequate what needs to be done. And maybe also to, if you have a look, for example, um, um, at a video, and or, um, how do you see that something is right? How do you create the difference? Because I want to come back to where this knowledge comes from, that it actually comes from a very strong or from a particular social configuration, from a working process, from a, um, a social context. Because you said once to, yeah. to me, therefore I just come back and maybe after that we have questions. Um, because um, um, you s uh, said once to me, it's interesting, um, we recognize things. Mm -hmm. So yeah, but when you recognize, you have to know it. Oh. Yeah, but oh, so, sometimes this so how do you recognize? How, how, what are the practices of yeah, recognizing? <laughs> or what is, where does this knowledge come from? And then it becomes complex. I think also that's, that's uh, by working with Pina for a long time. Experience. Experience with her and, and how she was creating the pieces, how she was in the rehearsal, how she was giving the notes to the dancers. Listening all of that, is, that's the, that's becomes, it becomes a knowledge. Oh, yes. It's, yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. It's very important. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and therefore it's so interesting and, the, and, and I think also when you were describing and transmitting to come back to the practices of transmission, um, transmitting this um, solo, it was also very much about not what but how, yeah. how you mm -hmm. did it, mm -hmm. you know, how you were talking to her and you were both very, also very, there was a very strong awareness and a very strong, you know, respect and a very strong understanding also of the other because for sure you come back out of a um, physical tradition let's say folk funk you know maybe where the arm goes and mm -hmm. and these things and and you know the work yeah. but still it's interesting um, that it's even more than that mm -hmm. so it's practices of knowing how she uh, was giving critique of of what she emphasized and then this comes to the question how do you archive this for sure you can do it very strongly via um, oral history, etc. But this is uh, maybe an open question for, yeah. for today. I mean, I, it's 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 clear for me. It's very clear in the whole experience of the work that it's a dancer is not only an instrument to fulfill some movement. Mm -hmm. But it's we, we are dealing as artists with with each other. Even in a I mean in the smallest rehearsal situation, there is a respect of the creativity of of everybody who's involved which is an un, which is a voraussetzung what is that a, for me it's a condition we work in yeah we have 50 minutes for question i think <laughs> we over the time but we have still time and um not questions comment because it's uh, I guess uh, Pina Bausch create very strong languages in archive. How far you can go out of these uh, languages? This is very interesting. Somebody from Pina Bausch school create separate school within, within other languages? Or it's you, like in, uh, uh, how to say, Zaggasse, you should be 
uh, turn around in these languages. This is quite interesting for me to understand. Of course, you talk about individuality yeah, of movement, of uh, improvisations, but still you keep this is uh, Pina Bausch uh, languages and archive movement. How you find balance in such uh, con controversial uh, situations? I, yeah, I, I, I would, I would distinguish. I mean, what we need talking about doing the repertory work, the works of Pina, the pieces is uh, really like reconstructing them. But at the same time, we have to have the courage to to bring in our condition of of today. Now, this is something, but. I would say also like what we inherited is not only these pieces, but something every one of us carries inside. And for example, the, the work you also do at, in other, with other choreographers, you bring in this knowledge or this kind of, uh, yeah, this kind of inner knowledge, this heritage is going everywhere. It's, it's, like, it's, it's like water, it can flow. And maybe to add to this, it's interesting that the heritage is not only the movement material. I mean, it's more like what I wanted to describe as a kind of um, you know, values. It's all the time a little bit dodgy, but you know, a bit kind of um, understanding of a process or um, a particular self-understanding which goes on and on. So I think it's a, it's interesting to ask uh, or interesting to to see that it's even more than just a, or it's more than just a corporal archive which will be transferred or translated. Uh, what is first, uh, thank you for this wonderful performance and I also, uh, I very appreciate the communication between uh, the both of you. I'm coming from Vienna and we've got a big scandal at the Staatsoper Berlin now, so that's the other way around, that's talking about uh, uh, the dancer as an instrument, uh, so, so they, that's their tradition. What, uh, I, have, I have a question uh, concerning what uh, uh, you mentioned. You said that you used uh, quotes of Pina Bausch in your research now, in your, uh, but, but I didn't quite understand is this material directly related to this piece, or is it okay? Yeah, it uh -huh. is. It, it that's directly related. So when I looked into the archive, I looked really for the for the Wiesenland material. I like okay. it. Yeah. But that's not, that's not. <laughs> and, and that's not the original. That's not no. the original. Original. That's original. Original. Exactly. What's the original? Pages and pages. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So so it is related to that, and as I. I, I wanted to look at it and I wanted to look for it first in my own archive, which I didn't find and I could look there, to have again this kind of a support because, yeah, of course I remember, but our memories, or my memory at least, is like... It's wild. It's wild, <laughs> it's distorted, it it's, uh, has holes, it's fantasizing, it's doing all kinds of things. So therefore, it's like, that's what I meant by this kind of an exoskelet. I, need, I needed, again, the inspiration. And when I looked at it, immediately it triggered, okay, these are the certain things. Yes, they are definitely related to what I was working on movement-wise or with other kinds of uh, um, answers to her questions, let's say, because they are not improvisations. <laughs> um, yeah, like that. So I think most of us agree that there is a certain real transmission from one body to another, as much as from one person to another, and also agree that it's also difficult or even almost impossible to archive such a transmission in the traditional sense. Um, but what comes to my mind is the concept of the Foucaultian archive. And Sorry, the concept of? The Foucaultian archive okay. and the way he mentions constellations and how they come and go, and then also set the rules and limits for the possibilities of enunciability. So I was wondering, almost uh, in conversation with the presentation of the group on knowledge feedback loops uh, earlier, they made a map, almost an orbital map, very similar to what I consider is kind of similar to the Foucaultian archive, where they brought out a few keywords and then showed how 
but they orbit in different interesting ways, at least in this particular moment of their encountering the archive. So I was wondering if maybe it would be probably in, an interesting way to archive such kind of, trans this kind of transmission would be to maybe plot that kind of, if not keywords, gestures, and then maybe see how it changes over time. Maybe the transmission between these orbital constellations mm -hmm. might be an interesting archive, interesting way of archiving dance. And it, it, it might be even interesting at some point, I don't know, it just comes to my mind, somebody is doing something completely different with these, with, the, with an input. I think it I would be know. interesting because it also would um, mm -hmm. at least fix a, um, a historic constellation of the concepts, you know? Like, mm -hmm. um, what do you think at this moment? How do you, because the moment when you describe it, you fix it. Or you, find, or you describe in the way you put it in relation to a concept. And maybe this concept changed or something, but how do you talk about it and how do you think about particular notions? Because for sure you can also see if you, if you compare videos with each other, you can maybe do a very detailed um, video analysis and say, say, and you can say, yeah, this, maybe this arm is there a little bit more and this changed. So for sure you could mark particular movement changes, but this is something, something else because maybe the, the, how, you, how you also see it completely change. So I mean, mm -hmm. we also in the situation that also, I mean, you mentioned it in the beginning for sure, and maybe you will mm -hmm. see it, I don't know how much time we, we is left. Do we we have, uh, if we Five wrap minutes. up, yeah. we um, <laughs> yeah, because because there you will see it also in the context. Because for sure, um, you have like a kind of like talking about archiving dance, especially when you put it on stage. You have also all the materialities on stage, which also want to be archived, you know. <laughs> and you have in performance this wonderful thing that there is also an audience, which is in theory now the co-producer of the perform in the or in the performative situation. Mm -hmm. So how does there the perception changed over the years? So it's, it's complex, but therefore maybe your idea, it's quite great to, to, to mapping the, um, the ideas or concept or the materials, which is other, to mm -hmm. see actually how we now talk about archive in dance and especially in, in, in this work. One more question. It is more in between a thought, <laughs> comment and question. I was very impressed by this um, metaphor of a job. And um, when I listened to the last days uh, to all these uh, great lectures, um, I was uh, thinking about the necessity always, uh, also of gravity, Schwerkraft, mm -hmm. for an archive. I think this is the, one of the most political and radical forms of how to um, stress the importance of an archive that you argue when there's a gravity, it remains, and it remains perhaps for centuries and so on. And dance, of course, is always in between this gravity and the activation of the body. But I, I found it so, um, such a good description, the dance itself, with the job of how an archive would work between activation and gravity. Mm -hmm. So it's mm -hmm. my comment. Oh, right. mm -hmm. Interesting idea. So um, now we are just wrap up and uh, now this video that we're gonna see it's uh, two and a half minutes is this dance in the recording of this dance and um, it was the this recording just to situate it was the last performance in the first series of performance this, the Premiere was on the 5th of uh, May, and this recording of, is on the 14th of May. In between, I think it was about four or five performances, there were changes that were made, also in this dance, that we can trace in the videos. Um, and this, what we're gonna see, it, it was a, also a choice as a reference video uh, for this uh, rehearsal now. So, uh, 14th of May, Schauspiel House in Wuppertal. We're gonna just see a video. <laughs>
uh, we can see the complexity of everything that's also screaming to be, uh, all the elements that are screaming to be uh, uh, archived as well. Uh, costumes, uh, the, the, the... All these materialities, all these archival uh, elements, they're connected it somehow. And we can just say, okay, there's, there's uh, the stage, there's the clothing, there's the, the music. The music that we now heard is also a very special thing. Um, with the body of oral histories that we're building, um, we're connecting, evaluating wh what is this connection from various points of view at various moments. Um, and they give room for inquiries of the, these narratives, of bo body narratives. The narrators in our universe are ex highly talented and skilled in uh, perceptive artists. Uh, we're working in a, uh, in a time frame beyond, uh, this work is very important, beyond for many, for years to come that, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> This is work is at its best when it's transmitted from one person to the other. And nothing can replace seeing this dance on stage by this artist. Um, but the systems, what they know, the systems of knowledge that we are, that, that, that goes into these oral histories, who knows what, the phenomenology, uh, who knows how to do, or even who knows why, uh, are the, the center of this, this epistemology, along with awareness of the phenomena of the background, everything that's around in this, uh, this experience, the temporalities, the immediate environment, when it was made, uh, where, the place, the where, the political moment, everything comes at that one point, and that's where what is evaluated when we talk to the people and ask them, how was it? What happened there? Why is this, this one video, what part of it is important or not? Um, what can oral history do well? It can, it's at its most natural as a narrative experience. Lived experience, in our uh, uh, theatrical element, is, there's all different structures of, of, of social structures of who knows what. Um, these structures ha help us to design an inquiry line. Reflective interviews like we saw yet, uh, now ontological interviews, uh, what is the body of this? are mostly possible when we have, uh, we take advantage of these reflections of what happened. It's another way. All these elements when we're designing oral history uh, projects should be taken into account. And just, just finish that. Uh, thank again, thank again uh, Barbara, Azusa, and Mark. Um, and I think we're on our time.